My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 41 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at questions under inequalities. We started in the previous episode. In this episode, we go again. The first question requires us to solve this inequality. And I told you, when you see an inequality question, the first thing that should come to your mind is, if this were to be an equation, how would I have gone about it? Once that thought entered, then you started. Here we have minus 6, there's a bracket. This is lesser than or equal to. You have 4 with the bracket. We are obviously looking for the value of s. But s is cage here in the bracket. Another s is cage here. We therefore need to expand. This isn't new to us because minus 6 times s will obviously give you minus 6 s. And minus 6 times plus 3, that is minus 18. Minus times plus, minus we always win. No cap. This is lesser than or equals. 4 times s is 4s. 4 times minus 2, that is minus 8. We can see s here, or we can see s here. We can see a constant here, or we can see a constant here. So, our mind should tell us to collect like terms. This should be pretty easy for us to do, in the sense that minus 6s minus 4s becomes lesser than or equals minus 8. As minus 18 moves, it becomes plus 18. Minus 6s minus 4s is minus 10s. This is lesser than or equals minus 18 plus 8. You are owing 8. You have 18. You are a big boy. You pay the 8 you are owing. You are still left with 10. So that is positive. So this is 10. Now we are looking for s and not minus 10s. To do that, we divide both sides by minus 10. If you divide here by minus 10, and you divide here by minus 10, minus 10 minus 10, that is 1. So, S becomes lesser than or equals no. Don't always forget the rule of the game. Here is S. That is true. But immediately, you divide both sides by a negative number. Or, you multiply both sides by a negative number. The sign must change. So, in this case, it will change from lesser than or equal to to greater than or equal to minus 1 because you've divided by a negative number. Find the range of values of S which satisfy the inequalities. They gave us these two inequalities and we are asked to look for the range of values which satisfy the inequality. Now, remember in the previous episode, we solved the question which required us to look for the integral values. In that question, two equations were bundled into one and we were able to separate the inequalities. We solved, we had different answers. But that question requires us to look for basically only the range of values. But in this question, we need to solve for answers and combine both inequalities so that we get the range of values, not the integral values. That is grammar, right? Let's see the real thing. From here, obviously, 4s minus 3s is lesser than or equals 7. 
what did we do? Collecting like terms. 3 comes here to become minus 3. Minus 7 goes there to become, uh, to become plus 7. 4s minus 3s, that is simply 1s. So 1s is lesser than or equals 7. This time around, we are not dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by a negative number. So we retain our symbol. Let's see that guy. That guy becomes collecting like terms 3s minus 4s. This is lesser than or equals 4. 3s minus 4s is obviously what do I have? Minus s, that is minus 1s, is lesser than or equals 4. We are not looking for minus s, we are looking for s. So, we we'll divide both sides by minus 1. Dividing here by minus 1, and dividing here by minus 1, s becomes lesser than or equals minus 4. Now, if you are dividing both sides by a positive number, you don't need to change the symbol. But now we divided both sides by a negative number. So this becomes lesser than or equals minus 4. Look at the options. They combine both inequalities. To combine inequalities, you look for the smallest value. No. If s is lesser than or equals 7, this is a bigger value. You look for the smaller one. There is minus 4 here. This is obviously the smaller one. For the smaller one, invert it. Once you invert it, you have minus 4 is lesser than or equals s. Because if s is greater than or equals minus 4, it means minus 4 is lesser than or equals s. Once again, to combine two inequalities, always look for the smaller one, like the one with the smaller value. Minus 4 is obviously smaller than minus 7. So for the one with the smaller value, switch it so that you bring the value first before the variable. If s is greater than or equals minus 4, it means minus 4 is lesser than or equals s. So you bring out here, minus 4 is lesser than or equals s. Then you come to here. Don't write the s, write the other part. Lesser than or equals 7. So this is the range of values. If we are asked for the integral values to bring out the values, the values will simply be, there is minus 4, comma, since minus 4 is lesser than or equals s, it means s is greater than or equals minus 4. So s will begin from minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they told us that s is greater or lesser than or equals 7. So since there is equal to, s will end at 7. So 7. These are the integral values of the inequalities. The shaded region above is represented by the equation. You are given an inequality and you are asked to look for the equation. Under coordinate geometry, we shall look at equations of line. You will see that to find equation of line or of straight line, you have something like y is equals mc or Yes, or y minus y1 is equals m s minus s1. This is how to look for equation of straight line. What is m? m is the gradient. And gradient is y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1. The first one is 0, 4. And the second one is 1, 0. This is what it implies. For the first one, when this is S and this is Y. S is 0 and Y is equals 4. For the bottom, S is 1 and Y is equals 0. So, let's call this S1, Y1. And let's call this S2, Y2. If that is correct, the slope of this inequality will simply be Y2, that is 0 minus y1 4 over s2 1 minus s1 0 this is equals minus 4 the slope of the inequality is minus 4 if we try to substitute it here to get the equation 
this will simply be y minus y1 is 4 is equals m this is equals m y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 so minus 4 s minus s1 is 0 this gives us y minus 4 is equals minus 4s minus 4 times 0 is 0 we therefore have y is equals minus 4s plus 4 looking at all the options only option c even has minus 4s plus 4 which means only option c is the correct option looking at the graph you see that it goes downward it cuts this way it is therefore y is lesser than or equals this guy and most of the time once you arrive at an equation they won't confuse you with the symbol the ones that have exactly the value you got they will be the correct option ladies and gentlemen this brings us to the end of this class i hope you found this helpful get the flash tennis jump up and begin to play with questions see you in the next episode where we shall continue inequalities thank you